Hello everybody, I am going to demonstrate replacing a uh, fluorescent light tube with LEDs. Uh, this is a kilowatt meter. There's your fluorescent light tube. As you can see the volts is 122 volts. It's pulling on this at 0.7 amps. 71 watts, 71.7. And of course, thanks to our electrical system, 59.9 on the Hertz. I am going to go ahead and take this apart and we'll show you what it looks like. As you can see I have disconnected the power. Always make sure you do that before you get involved. And you're going to have two what they call tombstones. You can see how uh, this is just doubled together. You can see where you got a white wire, yellow wire coming up to the ballast ballast has the power going to the source and then you have red and blue a couple of more tombstones so what we're going to do now is cut the wires and I'm going to use my heavy-duty snips so we're just gonna cut cut and we'll be back all right, as you can see, I removed the ballast. I've cut the wires, and here is my, you know, here is my source wire. And I have the hot side going to the left, and I have the neutral side going to the right. That's all you need to do to make sure that you splice all four wires plus the uh, feed to one. And the other, it doesn't make a difference on what side's which, just as long as these two go to that. And these two go to that. So it's very simple, but I do recommend removing the uh, ballast. I mean, you can cut the ballast away, but a lot of people are probably just leaving there. But I figured just get rid of it. You'll never need it again. So go ahead and uh, make that happen. All right, let's light it up. Okay, everybody, as you can see, she's well lit. And if we come up and take a look at the kilowatt meter, we're still at 122 uh, volts, pulling 0.33 amps, which is relatively half of what it was, and using 36 point something watts. So roughly, it was 71, I guess. So now it's using 36. So again, using these, it's much brighter. Um, going to last for 50,000 plus hours, no ballast, I took that completely out, and uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and install it. So this makes it very simple to install these. Again, remove the ballast. I think it's the most important thing you need to know, but relatively simple to install. Thanks for uh, watching.